And when I got back from Iraq in, in 2009, I went to work for a trucking company and um, I had led, I had led men in combat. I had, mm -hmm. uh, you know, eight years of military experience. Uh, right. I was, I was, uh, I had a pretty good resume. Mm -hmm. I had a pretty, I had a pretty solid resume. Right. Um, and I was a trainee. I was a manager trainee when I got out. Yeah. Sitting next to me at my training was a kid who had graduated college three weeks earlier. Okay. Yeah. So my eight years of experience leading men in combat and his three weeks of experience post-college <laughs> were considered the same thing. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. and, and here's the thing, like there, there's, there were a lot of guys that I got out with who, who, when I would explain that they would go, well, that's like, that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And it didn't bother me at all. It didn't bother me in the least. And look, that guy who was sitting next to me is a phenomenal guy. Right. Like I, I still get to watch him succeed from afar. He, he's a great dude. Yeah. Um, and I have the utmost in respect for him, but I knew that it didn't matter that we started from the same starting line because mm -hmm. my car had a bigger engine. Right. I had all those, I had all the things I had learned in those eight years and I got to just, okay, I know I've got them. It's not like I lose them. Mm -hmm. And so looking at it from, from the standpoint of an individual, I think that the important thing is to not focus on the starting line, but focus on the, on the finish line. Right. Understand that you're, you're going to be competing against people forever. Mm -hmm. Some people are going to have advantages. Some people aren't. I've taught my kids fair is a place you go to get a funnel cake. Uh, <laughs> and, and, that, and that's it. 